Just three years ago, the Marceline football team was one of the best in the area, finishing second in the state tournament. Now those freshman Tigers have grown up into seasoned seniors looking to get back to those winning ways. KTVO sports reporter Kayla McGee has more on how they are hoping to get back to being one of the best teams in the state. The Marceline football team has a deep tradition of success on the gridiron. Between 2013 and 2021, the Tigers never won fewer than nine games won six district titles, and went to the state finals twice. This season, the Tigers looked to emulate what caused them to be so successful, bringing a tough team who looked to grind out some yards. Expect uh, what you've accustomed, been accustomed to with uh, Black Rage football. It's just uh, hard-nosed, tough football. Uh, we're going to run the football, and, and uh, we're going to pound that rock, and then we're also going to spread it out and try to stay as balanced as we can, throw the ball around. A big strength for the Tigers will be up front as they bring a solid offensive and defensive line that will be looking to dominate the trenches. Biggest line we've probably had in a couple years, and uh, we're going to push. We're all averaging at least 200. And we're gonna, we got strong legs, big pushes, big yards. We're going, we're gonna take it home almost every drive. All district quarterback Dax Thomas will be returning for the Tigers this season. He may be the leader under center, but he highlights this team is full of seasoned vets looking to lead the charge on game day. We're all in this together. There's not just one leader, we're all leaders. We're all working together. It's not just one, one quarterback calling the shots, you know. We've got our leaders up front, our leaders out wide, and the leaders in the backfield. In 2022, the Tigers lost their first four games before going on a five-game winning streak to end the year. In 2023, they started 0-3 before winning seven straight. That's why this season, Coach Peterson is emphasizing getting out to a fast start. Uh, first off, that puts you in a better position come postseason with better seeds and districts. Uh, we've, we've really emphasized conditioning and just uh, execution, focusing on the details and, and doing things better from the start, from start to finish. The Tigers' first season in the Grand Rivers Conference will begin against Putnam County in week one. They'll face them at home on August 30th. Kaylin McGee, KTVO Sports.